Hello guys, welcome to our first module in the skincare formulation course. If you're looking to take your skincare formulation game to the next level, you're looking to go from an a novice to an expert. So you're just looking to in, um uh change your uh product effectiveness. This is the course for you. This course will be beneficial to you as a beginner and as uh, an intermediate person so i'd like us to get right into it okay so first of all i'd like us to be discussing the skin today because you know this is a skincare course and it's all about the skin right so the skin is the largest organ of the body with a total area of about 20, 20 square feet. This is why you should be concerned about not only making effective products, but you should be concerned about making safe and non-toxic products. Okay, so that's the whole reason why most people are going natural and organic. And like, because, you know, your skin is the largest organ of your body and you just really need to care for it like you would other organs of your body. So next, we will be talking about the layers of the skin. This is very important, especially if you want to formulate products that work. You need to understand the layers of the body and what layer you would like the active ingredients in your formulation to get to. So let's just discuss this quickly. So we have majorly three layers uh, of the skin we have the epidermis, dermis, and the hypodermis. The epidermis is the outermost layer of the skin. This provides a waterproof barrier and creates our skin tone, right? So the epidermis is the one you can see that shows whether you're dark, caramel, white, colored, black. Then we have the dermis. The dermis is just right beneath the epidermis. It contains tough connective tissues air follicles and sweat glands. The hypodermis is deeper. The hypodermis is a sebaceous tissue, is made of fat and connective tissues. So very quickly, I would want you to also uh, make uh, research, go online and just generally read about the skin layers because you know, like it's a very broad topic and really we cannot cover it in just a short period of time so it is very important for you to understand the layers of the skin and how, how just generally uh, information about your skin or the skin in general your customer since you'll be dealing with other people's skin your customer's skin so also um today we'll be moving quickly to cosmetics versus cosmeceuticals so a lot of people really need to know like the difference right so in this class i'll be teaching you how to make cosmeceuticals now the difference between cosmetics and cosmeceuticals is that cosmetics temporarily treats your skin while cosmeceuticals treat the root cause of the concern so for example say uh, you have a customer that has acne or a customer with hyperpigmentation. The customer, the person needs cosmeceuticals, not cosmetics. Because remember, cosmeceuticals treat the root cause of the concern while cosmetics temporarily treat your skin. Okay. Um, so cosmeceuticals treat the root cause of the concern, giving you permanent results. Results through cosmetics are immediate and fast, while cosmeceutical products give slow but permanent results. So that is why, like, it looks like, oh, you're, uh, you're uh, applying a skincare product, say, for acne, for example. And, oh, the acne is taking time. It's technically not taking time. It's just uh going through the process of getting rid of the acne you currently have and pre preventing like future acne breakouts so that's why it looks like 
it taking more time because i mean it doesn't take one day for acne to develop so it makes sense that uh your acne product takes time to work that's just an example by the way so expats do not recommend cosmeticals because remember do not recommend cosmetics because remember cosmetics does not really do uh anything permanent to your skin but cosmeticals can treat root cause of a problem so for example a person has eczema it is cosmeticals the person needs cosmeticals can be defined as a blend of cosmetics and pharmaceuticals this is why we have this diagram just for you to see our what cosme our cosmetics work so they comprise properties that are higher above in effect than regular cosmetics so this simply means that cosmeticals are the higher uh, concentration of active ingredient the composition is what makes cosmeticals unique they consist of active ingredients that bear favorable results for your skin so in this class is really cosmeticals we are looking to uh to formulate so this product that uh give you a really nice skin uh blemish free skin uh hyperpigmentation free skin those are the products we are looking to produce an example of those products are salicylic acid face wash uh active face toners uh body scrubs body lotion for anti-aging hyperpigmentation skin lightening skin brightening uh body butters for stretch marks for dry skin so those are the products we are looking to formulate in this class okay so um cosmetics versus cosmeceuticals continued in contrast Cosmeceuticals are considered drugs for the skin. So a product is classified as a drug if it has the ability to cure or prevent a specific disease. Its main purpose is to restore, correct, or modify the physiological functions through pharmaceutical action. So this is why you saw like the previous diagram. So in cosmeceuticals we kind of bring together cosmetics and drugs so which makes it like drug to for the skin uh okay so let's move forward so now i'm trying to depict uh the difference between cosmetics and cosmeceuticals with this diagram cosmeceuticals only stop at the epidermis like we can see so and this is why it only treats uh the skin temporarily but cosmeceuticals get to the dermis and this is why they are able to treat the root cause of the skin concern i would like you to send me an email or drop your questions in the comment section if you have further questions about cosmetics and cosmeceuticals but i want to believe that i have properly explained the difference between cosmetics and cosmeceuticals and the skin layer so uh, i can't wait to see you in the next class so bye bye